Before I first went to Japan, I had the same preconceived ideas of it as I guess anyone else. You think about the food, you think about the kind of samurai, you think about super hub in fishing. And um, getting there was nothing different. The food, the first time I went there was incredible. It's fishing crazy country in the world. And um, I think the whole culture thing of like that samurai kind of thing is still so ingrained and it's still there and you walk around the castle in Osaka and it's there and it's um, it's pretty cool. I bought my first snack rod through Duncan at Fishhead in Australia and I bought it because I'd read about them and I knew that they were like the best of the best and they uh, land-based fishing which is what I was predominantly doing at the time so I went and bought a Deffy Muthos from Duncan and that kind of started the whole thing. I just bought it. Um, I was fishing with it, catching fish, and the Zanac guys reached out, and here we are today. I've been working with Zanac for a few years now, and um, it's been bloody amazing. The first trip I did to Japan, um, and they invited me to come on a trip in Japan with the whole Zanac crew, and I had not met any of the guys until that trip. Um, when I got there, I met the whole crew in a car park in the middle of nowhere at like three in the morning and um, straight off the bat they were total legends and spent that trip fishing and um, testing a whole a lot of different rods but also getting to know these guys that are part of the family I guess and they work for Zanac building rods and doing all this crazy stuff that's amazing and they're the best in the world at what they do but um, it was really cool to get to know them, become friends with these guys and share that fishing experience and have such a good time with them because they were total, total legends. Fast forwarding a couple of years from that first initial trip, earlier this year was the Osaka trade show. So I was going to go the year before but I had another trip on so this year was my first time. The guys asked me if I want to come over and obviously said yes. Getting into the fishing show was like, I knew it was going to be big, but I didn't actually understand how big. Like, I think there was three massive halls full of everything fishing you could imagine, and you could barely walk around. There's so many people. Like, it's obviously everything you can imagine at those shows. There's rods, reels, lines, lures. I was really blown away by how much stuff was actually there even you could you could fish in the ponds there for trout but um the Zanac guys put together their booth and the guys told me they were working on something pretty cool and when I got there I was pretty blown away by the way they'd done it alrighty good morning it's very cold day two in Japan and welcome to the Osaka Fishing show 2020, mate. This is obviously the first time I've ever been. Um, today is the first day, and it is like trade only day, so no public. Um, I was just chilling at the hotel, so I've come down with the guys from Zanac, and I've just walked in here, and this place is really, really, really bonkers. Like, What? Oh my god! This is ridiculous, <laughs> man! Oh my god, this is not what I expected at all, but this is amazing, dude. Have you ever seen anything like this before? I, like, I'm tripping out. <laughs> really cool, and it kind of, I guess, it shows a bit of what these guys are about, and they do different stuff, and they do cool stuff, so... This is gonna be fun, man. Bloody amazing, have a look. Seeing that, like straight away, it's pretty bloody rad. And it makes, kind of weird, I feel like, um, I guess in a way, kind of proud to be involved with these guys because that is fucking cool. It's a testament to their brand and the way they do things, like the quality of the rods and then the whole samurai comparison 
background of the brand is like very, very similar to the way the booth turned out and it was something totally different to every other booth at the show. So, and their brand that they do things differently, they do things so well and they make it so cool and just bring you in. I learned some things about the company I didn't even know as well. Like, um, I know a lot of testing goes in, but I had no idea it was four years of testing before a rod gets to production. And that's why they're good. That in itself is a selling point, I think, because it's such a cool, different quality aspect that makes it desirable. And I think the whole going back to like the building a more of like a friendship relationship with a company and with the people behind a company is like I said it's the most important thing and this is what these guys have built on it's like a 60 year old family run business that's the vibe I got and of going out for dinners with the whole team and they take you in like you're one of them and it's just we had the coolest experience going out for dinners and drinking and eating good food I think that adds a whole nother level to, to something and you believe in it a lot more as well. You have the best rods in the world and you have a, a cool bunch of people that, that are epic to be around and make you feel good. That's what you want to be involved in. One of the biggest things in fishing for me is controlling the things that you can control. There's so many variables in fishing and the easiest thing you can do to maximise your fishing is to use the best gear because you have the best rods, you have the best reels, you have the best line. That eliminates so many variables and you know that when you hook that fish, it's not gonna go badly and bad stuff isn't gonna happen because you're 100% confident in the gear you're using. And that's why I think um, Zanac's a big thing for me because I'm so confident in it and I know it's gonna do its job. I can't see myself using any other rods anytime in the future because um, I love my Zanac.